let's talk a little bit about like hidden tracks and secret songs and like how they started and and like why artists use them. What's your take on that? I was thinking about this, man. It was a phenomenon that was limited to compact discs, which were little spinny things. And tapes, I guess. Cassette tapes before that. I would even caveat that it goes back even further. You're going to go to the Beatles? Well, yeah. So the Beatles, like, they uh, they they have a couple of tracks where they've got, um, you know, hidden things. Like, they've got messages that are backwards. They've got uh, what they call, they would press a double groove on the vinyl. So depending on where you drop the needle, you would, like, get one song or another. No shit. I did not know that. Or there would be like a lock groove at the end where it would play just like and not turn off. So, and it's funny because like when Jack White started his record plant or whatever and started putting out his own records, he did um, a record where it had a double groove intro to one of the songs. And depending on where you drop the needle, you either got the acoustic guitar version or you got the electric guitar version. And so that was kind of a cool little thing. (laughs) 